how you guys doing today you know it's raining outside it's pretty wet coming down um, the clouds are dark as you can see and um, but it brought a thought to my mind you know many times we look at the clouds and we don't really see the Sun but you know it's still light it's still light outside because we're able to see things around us and that seems like the world is crumbling but even though it's darkness in the world God's light still shines through it the Gospel of John talks about in chapter 3 verse 19 it says and this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil and I think about this because even though people try to hide the dark deeds in their life God can still see it everything is exposed to God the Bible says it is naked before God and it brought another thought to my mind we don't have to worry about God not knowing or understanding our situation me and my family we just got through battling COVID about a few weeks ago and I kind of felt like I was worthless you know in that time concerning our ministry and everything I couldn't really do anything I was fatigued I didn't have any strength in my body I didn't get it as bad as many other people got it but um, you know it's kind of felt inadequate but God sees all of those things he knows what's going to happen before it happens and he helps us to understand that it's not our power it's not our strength but it's his sufficiency the Bible says um, that Jesus told Paul you know um, my grace is sufficient for you but many times when we try to go on our own strength when you try to face life you know uh, with our own power we have our ego get in the way we tend to be running off of that that fuel of self-sufficiency but you know it can barely get us around the corner before we burn out and we break down you know can't be running on fumes and that's what happens when we don't depend on the strength of the Lord the Bible says that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength and so if you have a ministry if you have anything that you're doing for the Lord if you're just battling this life you know as a Christian in Christ many times you feel like you need to do this you need to do that um, you're not doing enough and so you don't feel like you're good enough even though you've done great things for the Lord you know and that's kind of like how I was feeling but we have to understand that God's work will be done by him through us and the Holy Spirit always empowers us to do what he wants us to do when he wants us to do it how he wants us to do it because sometimes our own thinking can cause us to be self-seeking can cause us to have that achievism mindset but you know what um, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 tells us therefore be imitators of God as dear children the way that we be imitators of God is if we have humility that we love one another that we show compassion you know towards those on the outside who don't quite know God and that uh, we be as Christ was in the world that we share his character his mind that we think like him that we act like him that we talk like him and if you ever are uncertain about the way that you're supposed to be as a Christian look at the life of Christ and see how he was and that can help you find your way we're the light of the world that's what the Bible tells us and we need to be that light otherwise it's just darkness you know but we were called to be the light we can't think that it's uh, something that is strange when we see darkness in this world and the world seems like it's crumbling it's totally falling apart all the foundations of prin biblical principles and what God has established for the nation of America that's the reason why you know God's word tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 he says and so put on the helmet of salvation and it says it tells us to take up the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying always with all kinds of prayers and supplications for all the saints in the spirit once you start putting your word down you have no power you have no, no knowledge and the Bible says when you're not in the word of God that Satan is deceiving you but if you want the peace of God you got to be in your word you got to understand what God has told you, what God is saying to us as Christians today. You got to be spiritually minded so that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. You know, my daughter, she gave me the scripture. Last but not least, she gave me the scripture this morning. She read to the family and I was, you know, really taken back because I was like, man, this is coming from my daughter. And it was beautiful. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, it says, 
His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. God has given us everything we need to live a godly life. But it's about our choices and what we choose to do in this life. You know, um, we have decisions to make. But we can either make wise decisions or foolish decisions. But it's up to us. God leaves that up to us. He doesn't force us to do anything. But I know that when we obey God, that there's blessings in store for us. Physical, spiritual, financial blessings. He takes care of us. And if you're ever wondering like why your prayers are not being answered, look at your life. Make sure you're right with God. Make sure you're in your word. Make sure you're praying. You know, because sometimes people just aren't praying. People just aren't in their word. People just aren't living right. So check those um, areas out in your life. We just got through celebrating Chris Christmas. And it should help us to see um, that God is with us and he cares about us and he loves us. He wants us all to succeed. He wants us all to make it to the end. And the Bible tells us to heal, empower us, to endure to the end. As long as we put our tr trust in him and our faith in him, and we allow him to do his work. And here at Live Inspired by Random Ness Family, we love you as well. And want you to know that we're praying for you. Just keep the faith, stand strong, and don't worry about the things that you can't handle. Give it to God. His grace is sufficient. God bless you.